what is data pipeline aws data pipeline is a web service that you can use to automate the movement and transformation of data with aws data pipeline you can define the data driven workflows so that the task can be dependent on the successful completion of previous task the data pipeline concept is very simple so you can see here data pipeline is set above the set above and the input data source is been given it can be like amazon s3 or dynamo db table and the input data source is been passed through the data pipeline to the compute resources your application in this data pipeline compute resource it process analyzed transformed according to your wish and then the result is been passed through the data pipeline to the data target in the output process and this data target can be as amazon s3 dynamo db now in the aws guider we can see this data pipeline on the above where the amazon ec2 instances the daily task is been copied as log files sent to the data pipeline to the amazon s3 bucket and as the weekly task it launches the data analyzers to the amazon emr now we can see the task runner in the data pipeline the task runner the task has been scheduled to the data pipeline and the and the task runner pulls and receives the task the task runner reports the progress as it works on the task and the task runner reports when it finishes the task the next level it goes to the task completion and it ends the task if it, the task is not completed it retries the attempts remaining and then it goes if if it is not in the retry process it goes it ends the task or else it again goes back to the data pipeline it schedules the task again and come by the first process here we are going to see how to transfer or export the data from dynamo db table to s3 bucket this is my aws management console before creating the data pipeline we have to create a dynamo db table and two s3 bucket let's start creating with dynamo db table by click, by clicking on the dynamo db table we get this page create table give the table name and primary key as required i am giving here two keys and create the table now the table has been created successfully and we can create the items now create item i am inserting a one more item Now the table has been created here with name and ID. I have inserted the two items. Now let's go to S3 bucket. Now clicking on the S3 services. Now we are going to create a new bucket. Any now create bucket. now the two buckets is been created in the s3 buckets now we'll go to the data pipeline service 
by clicking on the data pipeline service we get this page get started now here we get to this page of create pipeline now i have given the name for the pipeline export data and description is optional to export data from the dynamodb table to s3 bucket you can select the template in this form exporting the dynamodb table and the parameters are being given the parameters of the dynamodb table um, student and i have selected here the data the s3 bucket database the next is schedule here we are going to schedule how the data pipeline is going to be processed as our wish required and then now the pipeline configuration is going to be enabled here where we are going to select the data store from the s3 bucket now i am going to click on the editing architect we can see here configuration default schedule run once and dynamodb data node as data source table and emr cluster is used for the backup process and emr activity table backup activity then the last it goes to the s3 data node as a backup location now we can see the parameters in this activities even we can add the required fields the next the data node the data node is s3 bucket for the backup location and data node the first is s3 bucket and the source table is dynamo db now in this schedule we can see the scheduled process which is been given by us is been showed here the next column is the resources the resources from the emr customer for the backup is been used and pre conditions if it is required we can add it and in the others we can add any activities and been here now the parameters we can see as the student which is been given in the dynamo db table and the data store and the throughput ratio how our data pipeline is been worked now here i am going to add some few activities in the add add an optional field i'm going to add on fail and create a new action on success i'm going to create a new action now in the other we can see the created one we can give the name as on fail and we are going to select the type as sns alarm and subject as fail successful type is same as sns alarm subject is successful now here we are going here we are seeing the topic as anr for this topic anr we are going to go to the service as simple notification service we are going to open in the new tab the topic name is in this sns we are going to create a topic as data notification and display is data message as required now we are going to create a topic we are going to create a subscription from the topics we are going to copy this ana and paste here protocol we need it as a email and we are going to give a mail id now create the subscription
now the creation is been successful now we are going to copy this ANR to paste in the data pipeline now we are going to paste this topic ANR notification on successful and failure Now we are going to give a message as failed. Now we are seeing a warning message here. The long duration has been not set. So I'm going to so I'm going to set the terminate after option. as 1R now we can see the data pipeline with the SMS alarm on fail and SMS alarm on success with the basic pipeline is been ready now we are going to save the pipeline and activate it Now our pipeline is activate objects will be visible on the pipeline execution the status of the pipeline is waiting on dependencies we have to wait till the status get in the running state now we can see the status as running now we can check our data in the s3 bucket now in the S3 bucket we can open our data store and we can download save as we can save as as the format we required and now here we can see the data that I have been entered in the DynamoDB table it has been stored in the S3 bucket and this is the complete process of working data pipeline